What's poppin' play boys? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, for all the people who's new and who just started watching me, what's up? My name is Sean. This is my 2015 Honda Civic Si. And uh, yeah, hope you guys stay tuned for this video and watch the whole video. Cause in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your engine bay go from this. looking like this Damn! I'm gonna show you guys the way I clean my engine bay a lot of people do it a little different and a lot of people do it a little risky and I don't like risking my engine so I'm gonna show you guys the way I do it so I don't have no problems and I don't have no like electricity why did I just mess up that word? I don't have no electronic, electronic, what? <laughs> so I won't have no electrical issues. All right, so the stuff I'm gonna be using to clean the engine bay is really simple. I'm gonna be using soapy water. Well, this is not really soapy water. This is a little bit of the, uh, the greaser with some uh, like ultra heavy Dawn dish soap. Cause you know, dish soap is really good for like the greasing stuff, so. The reason why I'm using that instead of like just full degreasers is because I have rubber in the car. They like rubber in the engine bay and I don't want that to like deteriorate over time and I don't want to have no problems with my rubber. But as I say that I'm using tire shine, but I'm not gonna use tire shine. If you guys really want to like make your like your plastics parts look good in your car, don't use tire shine because it will mess up your rubbers. But if you use a tiny little bit and you don't wash your engine bay like consistently like every couple weeks or every time you do a car wash then you're fine you can use tire shine but don't use too much use a little bit not too much you don't want to coat your whole engine in tire shine and then i have a brush i can use you can use any brush any soft bristle brush this is really soft so i'm gonna use that to scrub and get in places and then i have these little small little uh paint brushes that i can use to get in, like in the nits and crannies that i can't reach and then i have a bucket of you know just a little bit of water I could just put my brush in here, take off the dirt, and I could spray it again with the, the grease in, well, soapy water. All right, so the first thing you guys want to do before you start cleaning your engine bay is obviously covering the battery or disconnecting the battery, making sure that you don't spray too much water on your alternator, because for the SI's alternator is like right here in the front, like you don't want to get that soaking wet. You can get it wet, but not soaking wet. Make sure you, you make sure all your sensors that you feel like that could get damaged is covered. Like, I don't want this to get damaged because then my car would run. So, yeah, just cover everything that's electronical that could get damaged from water. And then, uh, yeah, that's, you should be good from there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cover the battery. I have these rags right here. So, I'm just going to place one over the battery, fold it up and nicely, of course. And then, uh, for the alternator, I'm going to put like a small little rag over that one, too. And then, uh, obviously your abs system and all that stuff you want to make sure no water gets on that your ecu all that so yeah for those stuff i'm gonna show you guys how to clean those separately uh it's really simple so yeah man i'm sure you guys what i do and how i get my engine bay looking clean because sometimes your engine bay's be looking crazy all right so this is how i got the engine bay looking right now covered you know no pouring stuff this could get wet but not too wet make sure you don't soak this freaking sensor up or you're gonna be out of luck from starting your car and make sure you guys don't suck your intake i'm not gonna soak my intake i'm barely gonna even spray over there so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how i wash my car well wash my engine bay so the first thing i want to do i'm just gonna hit it with some soapy water so just hit it with some soapy water And now what you guys want to do now is you guys want to get your brush. Make sure it's wet a little bit and you can start scrubbing. Now, if you guys are trying to get to like certain spots that you can't reach, this is what I use. I use like these little small brushes right here. 
and I just you know get some soap and if I'm trying to get like right there all those little small little places I can't really reach So as soon as you finish getting in the spots that you can to reach, uh, what you want to do now, well, well, what I do is I, I let the car just sit with the soap on top and then I go again with the wet brush and I just wipe down everywhere that I hit and then I let that sit a little bit and then I do it one more time and then I start wiping everything off with a rag. A lot of people like to use the hose and like hose off the car and all that stuff but I don't really like doing that because I'm just scared. I don't want to mess up anything in the car. So yeah. And plus these little these little sensors add up after you start paying for like four or five, so safety is the key. Okay, so in this part of the video, I didn't really explain what I was doing to you guys. So basically what I did was grab, I grabbed the wet rag and after I grabbed the wet rag, I just wiped down like some of the parts of the engine bay that looked like it had a little bit too much dirt or like I couldn't really reach. Since I didn't use ho uh, a hose and soap and all that craziness, I just, you know, made it simpler for myself and just wiped down every part of the engine bay that looked like it had a little bit too much dirt. And now after I wiped it down, I just let it dry and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys what I did after that in the next clip. So after you finish drying your car and everything looks like it's, you know, pretty nice and clean, what I like to do is get my vacuum cleaner. And if you don't have one of these, I highly invest in getting one. These are like dirty lots from Walmart. And what I do is I switch the sides from the, like, the vacuum and I put it on like the air mode when it could push out air. And then I turn the vacuum on and I just blow any dust that I see in my engine bay out car or any water. And after I finish blowing out all the dust and all the water that was left over in the engine bay, I like to get a tiny little bit of tire shine. And then I, I like to wipe down like the black trims on my car. Well, in the engine bay, of course. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. And then the engine bay looks brand new again. From right now, looking at it, you guys can see how clean it is and beautiful it is. Before, this whole thing was like brownish. And now, just look at it. I love it. I feel like the SI has like the, one of the nicest engine bay, to be honest. Like stock engine bay looks so good in these cars. Well, of course, because they're stock. And after you guys finish putting your tire shot, this is how your engine bay should look like. Like this looks nice. This looks brand new. And this has this has 70,000 miles. Well, almost 70,000 miles. So yeah, it's pretty clean. It's my second time washing my engine bay. One tip I'm gonna give you guys when using tire shine to shine up like your plastic parts in your engine bay is to use a rag. Because if you just spray on your car, it's gonna be like real greasy and slippery. But if you use a rag, you can like, you know, smooth it out and like rub it in and stuff. Plus it's easier to like maneuver and stuff rather than spraying it and like having over spray and all that craziness. So spray on the rag and then wipe down and don't spray too much and don't soak your plastics. Don't soak, don't soak your hoses in freaking tire shine because then you'll be very mad when it starts cracking on you. But all right, you guys, this is where I'm gonna end off the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned how to clean your engine bay the safe, the safest way, I guess you could say. Well, my way. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And that's it for the video. Your boy's out. Peace.